Okay, so as you can tell, we're out here with our French Chasfo rifle. We're going to try to get a few rounds off. Uh, it's been busy out here, but I got my own way of making it. I kind of changed my mind. I haven't quite got the cartridge down, but I do have the chronograph up, and I'm going to see, just for the hell of it, what these bullets run. I am using an original uh, bullet mold the, from, I'm sorry to say, I am using the original style bullet. Remember, you gotta pull back on it. second one in there without too much trouble. The chamber seems to follow up on me pretty good. I did try putting a fireproof paper. I made these cartridges a year ago. So I don't know. It looks like 1200 feet per second. Yeah, I don't want to go in there too easy. That one don't want to go in at all. Alright. Let me see what we got going on here. Okay, that one went in kind of stiff. I'm going to fire this one. I'm going to clean the rifle out. It looks like it's lobbing them bullets out there about 1,200 feet per second. God damn it. First time I had a misfire. Alright. Okay, that round did go off the second time around. My chamber's getting fouled up pretty fierce. I don't know if it has something to do with the way I put the paper and nitrate it or something. But uh, you know, once I clean it, you know, voila. So, I only had about 10 cartridges. I'm going to fire them up, try to get out of here. And then I'll do a proper video where we go through the whole series with working with this gun. They're neat guns. I like shooting them. And actually, I'm getting pretty good accuracy with them. And like I said, I'm going to run some of these rounds across chronograph. Get some chronograph readings. clean after each shot to save me some time. Yeah, I just run the patch down after each one. Ah, that one don't look it's going to go with the shit. Ah. We'll see how that works. to shoot. Like I said, I got a few rounds. I got to perfect my method in making the ammunition. Plus, I don't think you should have let this stuff sit around for a year like I did. You know, this paper, the moisture and stuff kind of gets in there. You know, the crap comes out. A lot of build-up.
it might be more of the paper patch than the actual cartridge itself. But like I said, another thing to do a project. I've been wanting to work on this for over six years doing research and stuff with these rifles. And like I said, they are fun to shoot. And it's accurate. Accurate also. Alright, I think I got two more rounds left. Let me clean her up. <clears throat> yeah, I probably shouldn't have let these sit for long. Kind of coming apart on me. Well, we'll see. That one went fairly well. Yeah. I'll just run this patch up. See if I can get the last one up in there. Yeah, a little foul, but nothing horrible. Okay, last shot of the day, folks. Now we'll go look at the target. Down. Yeah, and we got some chronograph readings also, so that'll be interesting. I'll review that in a separate video. Okay. What we got here? I shot this one, I think, off the bench, fooling around. This was offhand, monkeying around. I shot kind of high, and I lowered my aim the last few and put them in there. And it's at 50 yards. This is a 50 yard shot. So that's pretty good for an old gun like that. You know, this this thing I can work with this and we'll see what we can do. And that's just using a paper patch bullet. There's no lubricant on any of that. So, alright. 